Welcome back to Gemberad. I am Andrew, and we are the Some People Syndicate. As you know, several influencers have labeled me as Some People, and me and my followers are now the Some People Syndicate. And every time an influencer refers to Some People, we're gonna take that personally. But we'll cover that in the future. Today I'd like to introduce to you a new type of red light therapy. It's called thermophotobiomodulation, and it was defined in a recent article. Photobiomodulation, also known as low-level laser therapy, is a non-invasive technique that utilizes low-intensity light to modulate biological processes. The paper goes on, Typically, PBM induces a local temperature increase of less than one degree Celsius. So again, the influencers figured out basic thermodynamics that you always get a little bit of temperature increase when you're dealing with energy therapies, but we know the threshold of temperature increase is very, very low. You might feel very subtle warmth. Let's keep reading. When the temperature rise exceeds this threshold, the process is referred to as thermophotobiomodulation, which combines the synergistic effects of moderate heating and photobiomodulation often in association with photoactive compounds used in photodynamic therapy, PDT, leading to the generation of reactive oxygen species. So again, there could be some synergies with heat and photobiomodulation, but know that the thousands of studies on photobiomodulation are primarily non-thermal. So if you wanna do clinical grade photobiomodulation, then it's very minimal heat, less than one degree Celsius, very, very low. And so again, it says typically, you know, typically is kind of a generalization. It's implying that the majority of the studies do not exceed one degree Celsius. Again, there's always gonna be exceptions and that's why influencers are struggling to grasp at straws and find articles and researchers that'll confirm their biases that, oh, it's okay to have a little bit of heat with your red light therapy as long as you don't cause overt harm. So overall, I think this is a great thing. There's gonna be a differentiation in the terminology when a study is doing photobiomodulation. It's less than one degree Celsius, very little heating. And then if it's adding heat to the mix, now it's gonna be categorized under thermophotobiomodulation. So we have two distinct forms of light therapy in general, but one of them is going to use higher intensities or somehow combine heat and photobiomodulation and light. And photobiomodulation is just the effects of light with minimal heating. So let's look at a recent example. Here's another article. It was a study protocol. So basically they're describing what they plan to do in a study, but they haven't conducted the study yet. But one very important, interesting thing they did was that they checked that their device did not cause significant heating before even conducting the study. That's how important it is to have minimal heating to be PBM. So here they say, initial tests utilizing a surface thermometer were conducted to assess skin temperature both before and immediately after the 10 minute application. So again, they're, they're using this LED pad, which is very relevant to what we're doing. So we're not cherry picking lasers or things that aren't relevant. So it's an LED pad and they confirmed the results indicated an increase of half of a degree Celsius, 0.5 degrees Celsius. And that confirms the device's safety and its effectiveness in preventing excessive warming during treatment. Okay, so this is a modern protocol. It's gonna be a study in the future, but they already confirmed minimal, minimal heating in true photobiomodulation studies. Another recent article also says, photobiomodulation is a technique that can modulate cellular processes and promote therapeutic effects. The vast majority of applications being painless and non-perceptible. So non-perceptible means we cannot perceive it. We cannot sense it. We don't feel anything. We don't feel the heat on our skin. There's nothing tactile. There's no heat. So again, that's a very key thing of there's minimal, minimal heating reported in many, many studies. So again, if you want to cherry pick a couple studies that maybe people report warmth and heating and whatnot, I've got recent studies. I'll be doing this for the rest of my life. Every article categorized under PVM, I will have endless comments content to talk about how red light therapy in photobiomodulation is non-thermal. So again, if you want to change the definition that you're doing thermo photobiomodulation, you can have a ball with your new newfangled light therapy, your made up kind of heat therapy, whatever you want to call it, but don't call it PBM because it's non-thermal.
And this was an interesting article because it kind of confirms the safety concerns of if you have tattoos on your skin, you know, obviously the ink will absorb a lot of the light superficially and that could cause a lot of heat. And so again, too much heating can be a safety concern. And that's always been reported as, as having tattoos as being a potential safety concern. So this is a new article that kind of discusses it. So that's very interesting. And so I was doing some research on, you know, insurance companies and what their statements were about photobiomodulation and low-level laser therapy. And we know these insurance companies are very shrewd. They're very data-driven. I've seen some amazing assessments from these insurance companies. So Aetna thinks, you know, Aetna's just some people. By definition, low-energy laser therapy uses irradiance intensities that induce minimal temperature elevation. Where have I heard that before? Why do I keep hearing that? Why, why is it everywhere except for in the mouths of like certain influencers? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not more than 0.1 to 0.5 degrees, half a degree C, like that previous article just said, they confirmed their LED pad had half of a degree C after 10 minutes of exposure. So as you can see, Aetna is part of the Some People Syndicate, that they are being very semantic and pedantic by following the definition of low-level light therapy being non-thermal and having a minimal temperature increase. So welcome to the Syndicate, Aetna. All right, that's my bit for today. Thanks for tuning in.